Neuroscientist Anya Hurlbert studies color constancy because it may offer insight into how the brain processes color. Color constancy is so fundamental to the way we see colors that we don't think about it in everyday life. We don't know how we do it. And in order to understand how the human visual system achieves color constancy, we need laboratory measurements of just how good color constancy is. To do this, she set up an experiment involving a well-known set of objects, fruit. And she's going to be asking people to try and estimate the color of the banana as the light changes. Your task here is to match the color of the banana. I'd like you to make another practice match, this time to the banana. Okay. There are, in fact, two yellows in the picture. The banana and a simple patch of the same yellow in the background. As the light changes, how will someone's perception of the colour of the banana and the patch change? Is the match that a person makes to the yellow banana different from the match the person makes to a yellow patch? If the matches are different, that means the object is influencing colour perception. Experiments show they are different. People perceive the yellow patch as changing as the light changes. But the yellow of the banana stays more constant. And the reason this colour constancy works, Anya believes, is because we should know what a banana looks like. One of the factors that might contribute to colour constancy in the human visual system is object knowledge. So, for example, the fact that we know that bananas are yellow and we've seen bananas under many different illuminations may um, enable us to perceive the yellow of a banana as more constant under changing illumination because we know what colour it should be.